theories on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube that are going to make us question everything. I do want to say real fast, it's a new setup. My reactions are different. Audio's fixed. You guys have spoke and I have heard and I've went and tweaked and implemented some stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So comment down below if you guys like the new setup and the new the new vibes. We're gonna go ahead and get into today's reaction video. Uh, Pringles, yeah. they're not allowed to call themselves chips. Wait, why? Before Pringles had Pringles chips labeled on the thing. Yeah. To be labeled as chips, I think, uh, what's that, FDA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the FDA said that if you are not making chips from actual potatoes. Wait, it's not potato? No Pringles? No. Is that potato? No, <laughs> fam. It's made out of a, a powder and they make it into a paste and they heat it up and it becomes- But it's not like corn? No. Fam, I don't know what the f Pringles is not potatoes or anything corn. It's, it's probably corn something. Maybe, I don't know. But it's, you know, it's like with all these like toxic shit in it. Ew, bro. They're not allowed to label it chips because it's not chips. Damn. So a chip has to be a potato cut up into thin slices, either fried or put it in the oven. And that's, you can call it chips. And then you can call it chips. Yeah. <laughs> so Pringles gross. are just Pringles. Yeah, Pringles are really just Pringles, bro. They're in their own lanes. Ew, bro. I'm laughing because I'm hurt. Pringles are like my go-to when it comes to chips and they're not even chips. It's like, what am I eating? Do y'all like Pringles? What's your favorite flavor? Comment down below. All right, Phantom put this here. He said, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons is based off of Jacob Rothschild. I'm not surprised by the way. Net worth 500 trillion? That's a thing? Owns every central bank in the world. Oh, well, that makes sense. Finance both sides of every war since Napoleon. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Rick, for the video. The Holocaust is big business because uh, Germany so far has given the Jews, I think, at least $200 billion. So it's big business. And some of you are still getting $1,000 a month. And a lot of people don't know this. And then uh, people don't realize who brought the slaves to America. They were Jewish ships. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's a whole... That's a whole nother thing. Let's take a break, because what the issue that we're talking about today is whether or not there was a Holocaust. We'll talk about slavery and who brought him here later. We'll be back up this. I'm not gonna let you go now. Look at he... It's a rule. You know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and you should never speak about it. <laughs> Yo, I'm no conspiracy theorist or anything, but check this out. So I saw this video. Did you see they just uh, did some weird law with house insurance in California? Yeah, they removed house insurance out there. State Farm is pulling out of that market. I kind of feel like some, some massive is going to happen. And not even two minutes later, this text message pops up. Pause to read. Like, wait a minute. What? I didn't hear about that one. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. It's collecting all the people and place, putting them in small cities. And, 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 and freeing up vast land of where ain't going to be nobody living, but all the cities are going to be congested because they're trying to put everybody in the city to manage you. Hmm. Now, I know we don't think that can happen, but it's happening. It's here now. As a matter of fact, the last projection I heard from a top economist said that we have maybe one year before this economy totally implodes. This is why Russia's getting out of the dollars. Everybody's dumping our dollars because they know the dollars get ready to fall. Once that dollar fall, the Bible says a loaf of bread will be worth how much? What did the Bible say? A, a day's wages for one loaf of bread. That's called hyperinflation. They, the, the only reason we don't have it now is because the feds have turned on that print machine and they print money trying to, keep the, trying to keep the hyperinflation from coming. But what happens when you keep printing money, you make the money less. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that means... What was once one dollar is three dollars because the dollar ain't, the dollar ain't worth as much as it was. Why? Because you turn on the machine and you're printing money out of thin air. Once it falls, listen to me. Once it falls, every government system gonna fall at once. Every social security, every welfare, EBT, everything's going at one time. Then they're gonna declare martial law. Hmm. Martial law is when the man on top, whatever president be, his word is going to be like a king and dictator. Whatever he say going to have to go. They're going to lock down cities. They've been training to do it. All this stuff is just training to do this stuff. I'm trying to help y'all. Yeah, you need to be scared. Yeah, you need to, you need to get your soul right. 
Stop thinking so cornerly. It's coming. I know we don't know. I know we don't believe it, but it's going to happen whether you believe it or not. I want you to know when you see it coming that it's coming. As a matter of fact, they said they're waiting on one big disaster. I've never heard this before. They, the, 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 they, the, the government has said we're waiting on one big disaster. That's enough to go and knock us over into martial law. It's coming. It's coming. Look at your food. Look, 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 at, your, look at your supermarkets. You, are you that blind? It's coming. It's not a matter of if. It's more so a matter of when. Now y'all know this is my guy right here. Thank you paid for the video. Fast forward on this point, the ultimate agenda that we are looking at that this enemy is pushing is depopulation. We have to get this through our mind. That way we can remove the emotion from it. Take the emotion out of it, look at Very it for logical. what the purpose is. Just yeah. be logical about this. What type of government would encourage men being with men, women being with women, and remove the ability to procreate? What kind of government would inspire such a thought? Now, before anyone says, well, people who are same sex and still procreate, no, you can't. You cannot have sex and have a child. Right. Knock it off. I'm not talking about artificial insemination. I'm not talking about any of that. No, no, no. I'm talking about literally a woman cannot get another woman pregnant. A man cannot get a man pregnant. A man does not have a womb. Let's knock it off. Let's right. be serious about this. True. What kind of government would encourage such a thing? A government that wants to get rid of you, mm -hmm. but wants to get rid of you in a way where you will accept it and where you will volunteer to do it yourself. They don't want these people on the planet no more. These people, I'm talking about three to four billion human beings on the planet, they don't want. According to the National Security Study Memorandum 200 under Dr. Henry Kissinger, the 32nd Secretary of State under President Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, he stated, quote, depopulation should be the highest priority of U.S. foreign policy towards the third world, end quote. But they had 13 foreign countries that they listed and said, these are the countries that we are going to push for our same-sex policy adoption, same-sex ideology, same-sex everything. And they pushed it on all of those countries and then they started pushing it here domestically as well. They want to get rid of over three to four billion human beings on the planet. Wow. That's really the foundation of this thing. But too many people are caught up in the emotion of it. When I hear about stuff like that, a lot of people say like the world's population could fit in Texas alone. That like, you know is mean? a fact. Oh, so how is there overpopulation in that in that sense? It's a lot. Then they'll say resources, right? Because mm -hmm. you have roughly 29 okay. million useful square miles mm -hmm. on the planet, right? 29 right. million square miles of useful land. Okay. If the majority of people can fit in Texas, the majority of people on the planet, literally, we're talking about the roughly 8 billion human beings. And if you've ever driven through Texas, you know that's not too crazy to believe. Then the question becomes, are we really overpopulated? Hillary Clinton was saying overpopulation. Henry Kissinger, overpopulation. President Jimmy Carter with Global 2000, overpopulation. It was a lie, a damn lie, and they knew it was a lie, but they wanted to push that and then get the people to be programmed to believing it so that the people can push it on each other, attack each other, same thing they did with shots, boom, 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 they start going in okay. on each other, and then that's when you get everything from abortion to vasectomies, everything to prevent you from procreating. You sound crazy. You don't want your existence to live on, and you think that's a benefit to that? Who put that thought in your head and why? They want to get rid of the majority of people. Why at this point? Because the majority of people are no longer being controlled. Again, depopulation is the goal. That's what we have to look at. So when you're looking at the trans thing, the drag stuff, all that, you doing being half naked around children, what's wrong with you? You're a pedophile. You got these gay folks calling out these pedophiles because mm -hmm. the pedophiles are using the gay movement like they did way back then. Again, you gotta go back to the enemy because if you get caught up looking at the people, then you're gonna be too busy arguing and fighting the people. And rightfully so to a degree. Some people, you gotta be like, pops, sit, yo, sit down. You can't be around my baby. Nope, not my child, go over there. But the enemy is always the one puppeteering and controlling this. Satan is, is doing his job. I never thought I would see the day where the White House would have the LGBT flag hanging with the trans flag and all the other stuff, the child predator flag, all that right there in front of the White House. Make sure you put that up on the screen. Brother, I'm <laughs> telling you now, when that happened, do you know the world is watching us? You know, the world is watching America, right? Yeah, they talking shit too. Oh man, you know, America has been the bully of the world for years in the bully, using her military might to oppress and suppress. You're talking about over 700 military bases that are currently occupying different nations all over the world. And they're looking like your men or women, huh? Hey, look, y'all gotta look at it from a military perspective. Yeah. You're looking at these foreign nations who've been waiting for some get back. You invaded my nation, you killed my women, my children, you bombed us for no reason. So all your men now, they, 
Hey, women, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're pushing not to make your men stronger, but to now say, hey, you can be a woman if you want, pushing the gay stuff, pushing... Oh, okay. The number one priority is LGBT rights. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. They look at... And they are fortifying. They exercise. They're working out hard. They're training. Because they're waiting for that point where they are able to then become the big dog themselves. You're talking about China? You know about BRICS? These mm. nations are not playing. Yeah. They're not playing. And they said, oh, wow, America, your priority is to have men chop off their penises and testicles. Wow. Good. Keep going. Right. Keep going. I don't know about y'all, but I'm cool with my masculinity. I'm going to keep working out and exercising because now it's a war type of environment and atmosphere that's brewing. So while everybody's pushing sex this and trans this and blah, 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 emotion, I feel like this and all that. Other nations is looking like y'all crazy. So we about to go ahead and get ready to be the big dog now. Uganda passed a law where they said if you identify as LGBTQ and all that, you going to jail. Now, a lot of folks that I've spoken to, a part of that community, was like, man, Reese, that's wrong. You know, see, see what I'm saying? It's like... That's Africa. You're not going to go into the historical target of your colonizing ancestors to try to recolonize in a modern time, but dress it up as democracy. Why aren't you accepting the same sex? And they're like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> they're looking at you like, you do know your grandparents did that already. They came and forced homosexuality on us. You forced all that on us. You doing it again? Do you not read history? They pissed. Not only is it disrespectful, but you don't realize you're trying to get them to accept an ideology that ends with no procreation. Hmm. So you want me to kill myself. This is what they're saying. You want me to kill myself, but you call it love? No, love is a procreative idea. Love doesn't mean life stops. That's not love. That's hate. So you want me to endorse hatred. Now, again, a lot of people in LGBT, we love y'all, so don't get it twisted. We love y'all, y'all family. You know, I got family who was a part of that, but they agree. They like, we ain't with all that. That's how you need to separate the difference. Is it the LGBT pushing it or is the government pushing it through the LGBT? Mm -hmm. And that's where people have to look at this whole situation. Because mm -hmm. the majority of people in LGBT ain't with none of this stuff, but a vast majority. All these pride parades with a bunch of naked, old, nasty, white, men for the majority <laughs> but naked running around children on on the internet it was showing right. it was like every single one of them city by city state by state majority old naked white men why because that is their culture you can get mad if you're white and you man watching this but that's your culture learn your history learn about pederasty which what you call pedophilia wow. now right. it's the ancient greco-roman art of man boy loving called pederasty that came from europe mm. and they brought it over here see again it's a lot of it, it gives that man be knowing his stuff. I just wanted to say, I really hope that the video stayed because see how they get you is they'll put a powerful video like that with him saying so much stuff. And then the background music, it will be like an instrumental or the actual song of copyright music. So I don't know right as of right now, if the video is up, I, pr I pray it is. I pray that the video did not get copyrighted. Um, yeah. So I don't know, but it was a very deep, you know, anytime he's on, he's going to say some stuff. I would say a lot, but it would just be me repeating what he said. So we'll just carry on. My heart is beating so fast. I think that's a whale tail. It's just come up and stuck its tail up and it's not going anywhere. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm jacking up. What the hell? I don't want to get too close. Yeah, I was like, I wouldn't get close up. Look at Oh. This is the craziest thing that's ever happened. The transparent kayak is making the whales act so weird. It's just come up and put its tail up in the air like that. It's not even, it's not even, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, and the little baby's just swimming around it. Is it, ah, look at it. That's a huge whale tail right in front of me. So was it dead? Like, why did it do that and then just stay like that? Like, is that comfortable for the whale? I know somebody in the comments will help me out. Thank you, Prof, for the video. When it was discovered that drugs could be produced from petroleum, America's top oil mogul ordered his army of propagandists to invert reality accordingly. Medicines used for thousands of years were suddenly classified as alternative, while the new petroleum-based, highly addictive, and patentable drugs were declared the gold standard. After buying the German pharmaceutical company that manufactured chemicals of war for Adolf Hitler, Rockefeller leveraged his political influence by pressing Congress to declare natural healing modalities unscientific quackery. Wow. Rockefeller then took control of the American Medical Association 
and began offering massive grants to top medical schools under the mandate that only his approved curriculum be taught. Any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Doctors and professors who objected to Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media, removed from the AMA, and stripped of their license to teach and practice medicine. Those who dared to speak out were arrested and jailed. When evidence began to emerge that petroleum-based medicines were causing Mr. Rockefeller founded the American Society through which he suppressed that information. John D. Rockefeller is duly credited as the founder of the pharmaceutical industry and the reason that medical error is currently the third leading cause of death in America. This is not an indictment against doctors. More than anyone, they are under the stranglehold of the single largest lobbying power in Washington. Mm -hmm. Every year, the pharmaceutical industry spends at least twice the amount as big oil to influence laws, policies, and public perception. Thanks to Mr. Rockefeller, the architect, of American monopolies. No industry has more power over our lives than Big Pharma. Thank you, Bino, for the video. Explain to me why I know you support reparations, but you are against cash uh, payments being a part of that package. Is that my understanding? Well, here's what, here's here's my issue. First of all, I fought for reparations for indigenous people, for Indians, for 35 years. I represented them in many, many lawsuits and treaty negotiations in Canada, the United States and fought for reparations. And I think there's a clear moral case for reparations for blacks uh, in this country um, who are the descendants of, of slaves. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's two impediments to that. One is that, you know, the, the slavery did not end the structural racism against blacks and the destruction of, of you know, the... the yeah, Jim Crow, you had to war on drugs. Right. And I grew up in a Jim Crow state. When I grew up in Virginia, blacks were not allowed to marry whites. A recent decision, the Harvard decision by Justice Roberts, has made clear that any race-based reparations that are just based on race and based on that structural racism that took place since the Civil War would be illegal and unconstitutional under the 14th Amendment. There's still, however, an argument that, that blacks who were subject to slavery in this country could still be entitled to reparations in the same way that the Korematsu case allowed Japanese to get reparations after World War, after the internment camps in World War II. Mm -hmm. There's a bigger but, political impediment, which is that you need legislation to do that, which means you have to get it through Republican and Democratic controlled houses. It's never and, gonna happen. You know, my focus because of that has been on two things. Our education system, which is crippling a generation, of, it's a crime against a generation of black children, and we've got to fix that system. And everybody can get behind that, and politically it is doable. The other thing that we can do is to build opportunity for black neighborhoods to actually build businesses, and I know how to do that, and you can do it through empowerment zones, through tax credits, through through loans, through direct grants, through education, because there's no accrued business knowledge in those, and there's no accrued income or inheritance money. And that has to be made available. So I believe, yes, we can do that grants. But if you're saying we're going to call it, you know, we have to call it reparations, and it has to come in this form, I'm just saying to you as a practical person who's been, I'm not a politician, Mm -hmm. But I've been around politics my whole life, and I know what's feasible and what's not. And I know that when a politician wants to pretend they're doing something, when they really don't have any intention to do it, they name a commission. I, I don't need a commission to know how to fix this. I don't need yeah. it because I've been doing it my whole life. So, so basically yeah. what you're saying is this country, you don't think this country will ever pass legislation for cash reparations on a national level, but you're focused on the things you can actually do and get done for black people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. In the comment section, they said a couple things. They said they want to do any and everything but pay money. Slavery was a business. Business is based on money. Thank you, Sincere, for the video. What are we looking at? Uh, <laughs> uh, one more time.
Wow, I really did not see that the first time it played out. What is that? Mm -mm. And why do everybody get taken out whenever they speak from them? Oh man, everyone should read the book, uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Everyone should know about the meeting that took place off the coast of Jekyll Island in the early 1900s. Everyone should know about the Federal Reserve Act. Everyone should know about Woodrow Wilson. Everyone should know about J.P. Morgan. Everyone should know about the Carnegies, the Rothschilds, the Warburgs. Everyone should know about the Waltons. Everyone should know about the Vanderbilts. Everyone should know about these are the names of, you know, of course, the Rockefellers, again, very critical. Uh, about the Rockefellers, John D. Rockefeller and all the rest of them, Dale Carnegie and the rest of them. You must know about these. Why? Because they shaped the modern world that mm -hmm. we currently live in. From the financial area to the educational system to the agricultural system to the very banking itself. They shaped it. So while a lot of us are arguing, we're not realizing the people who quite literally put this thing together are the ones who have perpetuated exactly where we are to this very moment. Then we can say, oh, these people want to get rid of over 4 billion human beings on the planet, including white folk. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. Here now, where do you think you're going, Yank? I'm going stir crazy. I gotta take a look around, plan our escape from Spiker and Spot. Escape? To where? We'll all be squashed, slaughtered, smooshed. No one's going to smoosh you, my dear boy. You're six feet long now. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. No one's going to smoosh you, my dear boy. You're six feet long now. 10 organic natural food companies that were bought out by huge corporations. Start with one of my favorites, Primal Kitchen, that was bought by Kraft Heinz Company. Garden of Life was bought by Nestle. Burt's Bees was bought by Clorox. Epic Provisions was bought by General Mills. Tom's of Maine was bought by Colgate. Applegate Farms was purchased by Hormel. Annie's Homegrown was bought by General Mills. Zico who makes coconut water was purchased by Coca-Cola. Larabar was purchased by General Mills. And Honest Tea was purchased by Coca-Cola. In other words, all the stuff that was organic, that was healthy, that was the best alternative, the better like option has now been bought by those companies. And it's just another brand now because now it's gonna include those toxicness in the products. We just react to a video of General Mills with the cereal and how they have placed that stuff that painters use is in the cereal. So General Mills, because they named them a few times, she named them a few times, now owns this company. These companies best believe what they were putting in their foods and selling it and making a living off of it. They're now going to be doing it to these brands that we were kind of trusting in and relying on. It's going to be no different. Thank you, Free, for the video. And then they have these children that they're and bringing in from other countries and no one misses them because these are third world countries and children are the they have the most energy the purest energy the they're yep. the highest form of sacrifice they are used as actual blood sacrifices during these rituals because of again reptilians needing their blood the blood will be gathered in a goblet and it will be dispersed among the reptilians. There, there are things happening every month of the year. What happens on the night of Halloween? That night is about the worship uh, and, and homage to Satan, the great um, deceiver Satan on that night on Halloween at this church. I have seen at rituals, I have seen George Bush, I have seen Hillary Clinton before I knew she was Hillary Clinton mm. uh, at the time um, at these rituals. She is involved. Jay Rockefeller, um, and he shapeshifts. These people seem to all be connected to the Illuminati. First, you're going to need two pays. I want this guy right here to one. I'm gonna take this one out. This was to do what you gotta do. 
Coupe. Then you're gonna need baking soda. Get the real deal, not the boot, not the bootleg, real deal. <laughs> Let it sit on there. Let it sit on there. Last but not least, get the salt. Alright. Then I ain't got none right now though. I'm gonna go get some. You get some wrap. You wrap it up. Oh, my arm cramping. You wrap it up. Smear it on that good. You wrap it up. Do this every day. And let it sit on there about 30 minutes a day. Let it sit on there for 30 minutes. For two weeks. All right. Here we go right here. Three weeks later. Wow. You do them steps. Tattoo remove. You don't even have to go through the laser removal because I, I heard those are painful. You have remedies like this where you're using toothpaste, baking soda slash powder and salt and a uh, saran wrap to get tattoos off you that are supposed to be permanent. I think that's cool and interesting because I know a lot of people in their youth that have got tattoos that were either not it or they got tattoos of things you know, like of like people that they're no longer with or anything. So to have a remedy like that where you don't really have to spend that much money to get something taken off of you is really cool. I just want to know who came up with those three products to use and to put that on your skin for it to slowly but surely come off. But it's crazy because it's like the more you know, the more you learn. But then again, it's like we putting this stuff in our bodies. So what is that doing to us on the inside? Let's talk about it, man. This is the type of spaghetti we used to always get, but notice right here, you see it say enriched spaghetti. The problem with enriched spaghetti, it's made, all spaghetti is is flour and water, but this was made with enriched flour. So that means they took the grain and they stripped it of its germ. The germ is where the natural nutrients are. The germ can spoil. So what they do, they add synthetic nutrients to replace the natural nutrients that was lost during the enrichment process. Now, how you can know is you, if you see enriched, you know, but also you want to look at the ingredients. You'll see they use some, so I don't know how you say that right there? Semolina. Sem semolina wheat, but then here go the uh, synthetic uh, vitamins, niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine monotrisate, riboflobin, folic acid. These are not the same as the natural nutrients that was inside that germ, even though they got the same name. When I learned that one of the side effects of enriched food is weight gain, hmm. it was, I made the switch to a natural uh, pasta. We right here in Walmart, they got options. So I switched it to this one. You notice you don't see enriched anywhere on the pack. And uh, when you look at the ingredients right here, durum wheat, semolina. That's all that's in this, man. Making this switch helped me to lose a lot of weight. I break down these principles of how I still ate the food I like to eat and lost 100 pounds. I wrote this book called Life Matters uh, to help, you know, anybody that want to do the same thing, you can do it. This was me in 2014. Wow. We sold thousands of copies, man. We felt thousands of people lose weight. We're doing a 50% off sale for Labor Day. We got the discount link underneath my profile picture if you want to grab a copy. Press up, that's the stuff. That's beautiful because it really does tell me that it's the stuff in the food that's making us have like the hormones, the weight gain, the C word, it's stuff like this. So when you tweak it and you add stuff to it or you take stuff away, it can do wonders for you. Thank you, Josh, for the video. So I heard this crazy rumor and I want you to tell me if it's true or not, but somebody told me you're now a flat earther. Is this true? Well, obviously, I wanted to get to Mars and to the moon, but I found out that it is impossible because of the firmament that is now obviously surrounding us and it won't let us penetrate. If you haven't noticed, we've been sending off lots of rockets to try to go and break it. Try to write it. It's impossible, and we're not going to do it any longer. So, well, what's the next option? No way, man. No way. I would never have thought you would become a flat earther. Man, I have of all people. This is wild, dude.
the video kind of was like out of loop so i don't know if it was like real or not Cause you know people do interviews like this because i know he did an interview with uh, with elon and i'm just saying i know people can kind of do the ai and the the deep fake stuff so was this a real interview where elon does express that he is a flat earther and then does he really say that they do send rockets up there and try to break it because this can be cap or it can be fact i really don't know i know you guys probably know you guys probably seen this interview i haven't so that's why i'm asking the question if he did say that then that's very interesting that he put that out there and, and said what he said without no remorse i really love and enjoyed today's videos shout out to everyone that has sent in videos i want to say i was going through technical difficulties during this reaction so stuff may be kind of looking crazy it's still not gonna stop the grind i'm just gonna just go and tweak and fix some stuff but i appreciate you guys thank you guys for rocking with me thank you guys for supporting thank you guys for all the feedback the commentary the new subscribers i really want to just shout out to each and every single one of you guys honestly i want to give all esteem all glory and all honor to my lord yahuwah and my adoni yahushua hamashiach for blessing me with everything as a whole i'm just a vessel that they are working in and through so i gotta give credit and honor where it's due and i want to say the names are yahuwah that's who i shout out and yahusha because i have a lot of people that's like why does she speed through the names if i say i'm fast i'm sorry that's why i slowed it down you guys have a blessed one i'll see you guys in the next one shalom shalom Bring me down, I know who I belong to. Yeah, what I won't sell my.